Hey guys, my name is Maria. Thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to do something very different. One of the ways to overcome a fear of painting on a larger scale is actually to pull like the largest sheet of a watercolor paper you have and just paint on it. So I chose this landscape to paint today and I'll give you some tips when it comes down to painting on such a large sheet of a watercolor paper. So this is 22 by 30. This is the largest sheet of a watercolor paper I have. So the first thing I am going to use washi tape because I do want to have that white frame once I'm done. And the next thing is to pre-dilute your watercolors with water so everything is ready just to grab and go. So once your paper is wet, you can just apply the colors and you don't have to uh, worry about pre-mixing these colors separately while your paper is drying. Another thing which you can do is work with two brushes. So you will have one brush to wet the paper but you hold on to this brush and then with that second brush you start applying the colors but as you're applying the colors you can also continue wetting your paper so it stays wet longer so by looking at my reference image these are the brushes that i will be using so i have this one and a half size inch uh, brush so it's a flat wash brush heritage series by princeton and then i have the smaller size brush and then i have also a larger round brush it's a quilt brush and it's size eight it's neptune series by princeton and then i have a rigor brush a liner brush and this is size 10 so much larger brush to paint the trees and stuff like that basically what i'm going to do is uh wet the entire paper and then i'm going to start quickly applying the color so colors for that main background so there's some of those blues that i'm going to use so these are some of the colors that i will be using so i have peacock blue and then i have fallow blue yellow shade so normally i use red shade but in this case i see that the blue is more on the cooler side i'll be also using indigo neutral tint and a little bit of quinacridone red and i'll pre-mix quinacridone red with fallow blue all right let's get started So the paper is wet so i'm ready to start adding colors i'm going to start with the quinacridone red and some of the blues and then just by looking at the reference image i'm also going to start working with the peacock blue and then follow blue yellow shade and then the bottom will be a little darker but that will be also applied with the second layer <laughs> Okay, so the first layer has been applied. So now I'm going to let it dry and then apply the second layer. Okay guys, so round two, I'm much more prepared this time. What I have learned is that I need a larger palette to mix my colors and I do need a larger brush. So I found this brush. So this is a Hake brush and it's by Silver Brush. So I'm going to use this brush to wet my paper and I am going to apply some of these colors with this brush as well. But the first thing I need to do is pre-dilute my colors 
with water and then wet the paper. Time for layer number three. So this time mostly darks like indigo and neutral tint. I will have some of the phthalo blue in there as well. And also I'm not going to wet the entire paper. I'm going to actually paint the main tree wet on dry. <laughs> Okay guys, I just finished. So this is about three layers and the size of the paper is 22 by 30. So I have learned a few things. First of all, to make sure I am using a larger palette so I have uh, just a better way to grab the paint. And also I need larger brushes. And another thing is it would be better to have larger jars with water since these are pretty small. And so brushes and then water and then paint, that's the one thing. Another thing is to work fast because the paper dries faster. And what helps here is painting on a thicker watercolor paper. This is Arches 300 pounds cold press. So I do have a lot more time basically for the paper to dry because it's a thicker watercolor paper. So now I am ready to remove washi tape. Okay guys, so this is my painting. So I removed the YC tape, um, paint bled a little bit underneath, but that's to be expected because the edges of my watercolor paper are not even, so they are not straight. And I didn't place this washi tape like correctly covering all this edge, so I knew the paint could bleed underneath. And that's okay, I'm still happy with it. Thank you so much guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you also try to paint on a larger sheet of the watercolor paper.